All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I am currently on my phone. I don't do a whole lot of these videos because I think they look fucking retarded. Um, but I'm on my phone doing a video because I got over here on my laptop, I got the Tomb Raider videos through live streams because I record them as I'm live streaming them. All going up in one part. They're all going up on uh, my secondary channel, One Gopher, which starts the first next year. Challenges to have 365 games for 365 days. I have 10, so I'm struggling right now, but uh, I got a bunch of Call of Duties lined up to play for over there, and then I'll line those up, and then we'll go from there. But as I am getting this video set up, I see a news article, uh, one that I don't really wish I had seen. So ladies and gentlemen, before I get into this any further, make sure you like and comment, subscribe, and turn on your bell notification. Normally I have... A time counter, or not time counter, a subscriber counter on uh, <clears throat> on my phone, or I mean on the videos. It's at like 813 of 1,000 right now. Thank you for the 813 that I have subscribed. Looking to get to 1,000 by the end of the year on this channel. That's the goal for this channel by the end of this year is to be by 1,000 by my birthday. My birthday is December 31st. Um, and then the second channel is to have 365 games. So also post your game recommendations down below. And the only other way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be able to hit that thousand is if you, of course, is what I said, you know, like, comment, subscribe, but also sharing it out with friends or family, post on your social media, video, the channel, whatever, or react to it if you have your own channel. All my videos, as far as I know, I have the little segment pre-selected for uh, reaction stuff, like the politics stuff I've done, the reaction stuff I've done, uh, go for it. Uh, it's fair use as far as I'm concerned. I'm willingly putting it on the internet for other people to check out. But the article, speaking of internet and checking out, segue. Uh, I grew up with a particular set of movies, and this set of movies is really a f staple of my childhood and stuff. Um, to take you back, I was, um, shit, I was probably about 10, uh, 27 right now. I was probably about 10... When my mother bought my brother a four-pack of movies on DVD for what, movies that sounded stupid and weird. And then we sat and we watched them one through four. And abs I absolutely fucking loved it. Um, are they the greatest movies ever? No, but they are definitely ones. If you're watching one, I'll sit down and watch it with you straight the fuck. This is weird. I, I'm used to camera and look at it, but I'm like, look at my eyes, look at the camera, look at my eyes, look at the camera, look at my eyes, look at the camera. <clears throat> but I absolutely loved this movie franchise. And then there was a rumor, um, seven years ago? Where they said they were going to do a TV show. And I think they did. I think they got a season of it up on Tubi, but I don't really count that. I'll watch it to do a review for it, but I don't really count that. Um, and then there's another rumor that they were going to do another TV show about two years ago, and nothing's come from that, and Kevin Bacon was supposed to be associated with it. And now there's talks of a movie remake. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's Tremors. Tremors, the first one had Fred Ward, Michael Grouse, uh, or Gross, however you say his last name, uh, Reba fucking McIntyre. And then, of course, Kevin Bacon. And then the second one had Fred Ward, Michael Gross, and uh, I don't know any other actors. And the third one had Michael Gross, and I don't know any of the actors. And the fourth one had Michael Gross, and I don't know any of the actors. <laughs> Seems like Michael Gross is the consistent character, because, of course, he plays Burt Gummer. Uh, except for the fourth one, he plays like a descendant of Burt. Phenomenal movies. Again, they're not winning any awards necessarily. They're more of a guilty pleasure-esque kind of franchise. But they're fantastic. And then we had, um, I think there was one that came out a few years ago in Africa. And there was another one that came out like Antarctica or something like that. Not the greatest quality, but, you know, I can, I can appreciate the love that they are giving it. I don't know how I feel in this day and age of a Tremors remake. I... Uh, I don't know how that would look. I got a feeling they tried to make it funny, like a comedy. And it's like, Tremors had its moments. Tremors had its golden moments when it came to comedy slash horror. It was perfect. Perfect. As Homelander would say. I don't know how well a modern director could do it. 
I really don't. The only person potentially that could do it, and I would question his horror capabilities, would be Sean Levy, the guy who did, you know, Free Guy and Deadpool, because it did the violence and it did the comedy. The horror aspect's the part where I would um, be a little skeptical on. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Did you see Tremors growing up? Have you seen any... Thing for Tremors. Do you know what a Graboid is? A Shrieker? An Ass Blaster? Yes, that's its name. Do you know any of those? Let me know what you thought down in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. And if you have seen it, what do you think about a remake? I'm not on board. 